Hey folks, I'm Ian and this is Doggo, my Ford Transit Connect Camper and today I'm going to talk to you about the transformer bed. So, the transformer bed gives me the option of going from van mode to sofa mode to bed mode and in van mode I have a whole ton of space. Perfect for camping, for family holidays, for moving stuff around. But what I want to show you today is how quickly I can transform this from van mode to sofa mode and then from sofa mode to bed mode. The reason is I get a lot of comments, people saying I love the build but it takes too long to set up and I'm going to show you that it doesn't take too long to set up. You can just throw it up dead quick. Check it out. So van mode to sofa mode is as simple as unhooking one little hook just down the side here. up, out it slides, boom, 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 done. As simple as that and I'm in sofa mode. I have cushions, back cushions on, I do have a base cushion but you don't need to fit it, I carpeted this so it's nice and soft. Now when this is in sofa mode it is real comfy, I can spend hours in here. The cushion I have for this is four inch thick, firm foam, so you can sit on it for ages and never squishes down. So under here, I've got two big compartments. I normally have a folding um, like box in here which I put food in. I can fit a cool bag in here. You could just use this for storage for clothes or for sleeping bags for bedding, but. This is just where I store food. So now another advantage of sofa mode is if I want to chill out, if I fancy having a, a little lie down, even if I don't want to set the bed up, I can just go sleep on it in sofa mode. Throw a pillow down and away you go. And I have slept like this a few nights. If I take this back cushion off, gives me another five inches of depth and it's big enough like a camp bed so if I was feeling lazy and just wanted to sleep like that it would be so simple to just use a sleeping bag literally put your pillow down pull your sleeping bag out and you could just go sleep and in the mornings you can get up nice and easy get the breakfast on the go you've not even got to put the bed away but it's not as comfortable. This is quite firm foam. I can sleep on that, but the bed is so much more comfortable. So it's worth taking a little bit extra time just to get the bed set up. So now talking about the bed, let's flip this into bed mode. So this is the point where people say it takes too long to set up, but I'm gonna show you in real time, not focusing on doing the movement slowly so that you can see how it works. If I just do it in normal time, you can see it actually doesn't take very long at all. And I think it's just as quick as doing a slide out bed when people fumble around with them. Check this out. So as you can see, that didn't take very long at all. Now it's not fully in bed mode. The rear seats of the van lift up out the floor and create the bottom piece of the bed. And then this sofa that you guys are on at the moment is a Z bed and that unfolds and becomes a full size single that me and someone else can sleep on. It can be cozy if there's two of you, but it's a cosy little van. So I just want to quickly show you, if I'm in the van without the Z bed, which does happen if we're going away on holiday and things like that, and I set it up into, into van mode or passenger carrying mode, so I've got the rear seats up, I can sit this in the back, but there's no storage when that's in the back and it's in van mode. So if I go away without the Z bed, 
I still got kind of an emergency sleeping mode um, using the using the sofa cushions. Check this out. So what I can actually do is I can use the sofa cushion, the backrest that's normally there, and these can create a very basic mattress. So moving away from emergency mode, everything's got a mode. <laughs> We're now going to go back to bed mode. So you saw me fold this bed platform out and I've spoke about underneath here is the folding seats but this is the Z bed and this just unfolds onto this base seats come up and then the bed folds out just like this Bed mode activated. People say about it taking a long time, it doesn't take a long time. It's just I show it slowly so that people can see. This is set up now. I do like to put a sheet on, then a duvet, a blanket, another duvet, get myself nice and snug. But really I could just throw a sleeping bag. So what you've just seen me do, nice and quick, less than a minute, and then I can pull a sleeping bag out, chuck it down, and I'm away. So even at the foot of the bed, I've got a ton of space. There's probably a foot worth of floor exposed and even more of that above the floor. So you've got space to stand up and change. Even space to do a little jig. So for those of you interested in how the rear seats become the bed, let me just flip this over and I can show you. So this is how it goes. Those folding seats come up out the floor and back. And I've got those at the same height as the, the bed frame. So when the Z bed unfolds, it's just straight across. Now this is just a quick video on the transformer bed. If there's anything here you like the look of, mugs, lights, the Z bed, I've got links to everything in the description below, so check it out. And if you want to see more about this bed, I've got two videos that you've really got to watch. So first I've got a video showing all the different modes of the bed, much better detail, that's the one just there. And then I've got a second video showing you how I made this bed with measurements and descriptions of how to build it. So if you want to build one for yourself, then check out this video just here. If you like this video, then give it a like. If you're thinking about subscribing, then now would be a real good time. Take care folks, and I'll see you on the next one. Please share this video, other people might want to see it. Thank you. Bye bye.